Hello, Blythe, Evie, Joe, Jack, Callum, and Cadence. It's story time, and today's story is Hieronymus Betts and His Unusual Pets, written and illustrated by M.P. Robertson. Hieronymus Betts and His Unusual Pets, and he said this story is for Leo. Hieronymus Betts has unusual pets. Look, he's got this crazy looking dragon. And look at that where the chain is just tied together with twine. And But he also has a dog that he keeps on his lead. Slurp. The Slugopotamus is his slimiest pet, but Hieronymus knows of something even slimier. Oh my goodness, what could be slimier than this? Look how he's got that umbrella with all the slime coming out. Ugh. See slime coming out of the pores of his the Slugopotamus? Do you see his eyes? The slime coming out of his mouth. Ew, disgusting. Screech, the great spotted howler bird, is his noisiest pet, but Hieronymus knows of something even noisier. What in the world could be noisier than Screech, the greater spotted howler bird? And look at the tree that Screech lives in. Whoa, he looks amazing. There's a snake above Screech. And there Screech has a nest with all kinds of howler birds uh, coming out of the nest Oh my goodness, Hieronymus Betts is going to have a very noisy pet life. But what could be noisier than that? Gobbler, the saber-toothed rhino toad, is his greediest pet. But Hieronymus knows of something even greedier. Oh my goodness, look at the saber-toothed rhino toad. Do you see his horn and how his slurpy tongue is going out and catching all those flies? Oh, greedy, greedy saber-toothed rhino toad. What could Hieronymus know that is even greedier than that? Cuddles. Porcuthon is his scariest pet. Cuddles the porcupython. Cuddles the porcupython is his scariest pet. But Hieronymus knows of something even scarier. Do you see why he's a porcupython? He's got all these little prickly things coming out of him to stick you. And it's a, a python with a snake that's trying to strangle him. Um, and look at the tree that he's on. Look at the, the, all the different colored mushrooms, the big uh, hole in the center. And this is his scariest pet, the porcupython that he calls Cuddles. What in the world could be scarier than that? Growler, the grizzly hare, is his fiercest pet, but Hieronymus knows of something even fiercer. Oh my goodness, look, he's a grizzly hare. He's got rabbit ears, a rabbit tail, rabbit feet, and claws. 
but he's like a big grizzly bear. He is Hieronymus's fiercest pet. But what in the world could be fiercer than that? Stinker the bog hog is his smelliest pet. Ooh, look how smelly he is sitting in his bog. Do you see all the gook coming down from him? Oh, and look, there's one of his other pets. Which pet is this? See if you can remember. Let's see if we can get back to that pet to find which pet that is that's looking out at him. Up, it's the Slugopotamus. Do you see his eyes? There they are again, coming out of the bog. So Stinker the Bog Hog is the smelliest pet, but Hieronymus knows of something even smellier. Hieronymus is trying so hard to clean him up. Look at all the bubbles. Do you see he's got a clothespin on his nose? What could be smellier than Stinker the Bog Hog? Ujama Flip the Whatchamacallit is his strangest pet, but Hieronymus knows of something even stranger. Oh my goodness, look at all the, the strange things about Ujama Flip the Whatchamacallit. Look at his legs, his arms, the spots, look at his ears, look at his crazy tongue, look at his tail. And look at the craters in his body. He's a pretty strange pet. But what in the world could be stranger than Ujama Flip the Whatchamacallit? So, what's slimier than a slugopotamus? Noisier than a greater spotted howler bird? Greedier than a saber-toothed rhino toad? Scarier than a porcupython? Fiercer than a grizzly hare? Smellier than a bog hog? And stranger than a whatchamacallit? Do you dare to turn this page to find out? What do you think it is? Oh my goodness. Hieronymus's little brother. That's what. Oh my goodness, his little brother? A little brother like Jack or Callum? A little sister like Cadence? Oh my goodness. But even though he's slimier than a slugopotamus, Noisier than a greater spotted howler bird, greedier than a saber toothed rhino toad, scarier than a porcupython, fiercer than a grizzly hare, smellier than a bog hog, and stranger than a whatchamacallit. See how slimy he is with his gooky nose? And noisy he is with his trumpet and his his big uh, drum. Greedier, how greedy he is eating all the apples and the cake and the cookies. Scary he is with his crazy devil uh, costume with the pitchfork. And he's gotten a teddy bear with a pitchfork. Fierce by by biting on poor Hieronymus's but <laughs> smelly by, by kicking all kinds of gook all over the place and strange, wearing big welly boots and a duck uh, swim ring and a bra on his head. He's, even though he's that strange, 
He's more fun than any pet could ever be. Just like Jack, Callum, and Cadence are more fun than any strange pet any of you could ever have. The end. There's one of the baby um, howler birds talking to a little snail. I hope you like this book. Remember who you have around you, who you've got with you these days, and how wonderful they are. Now, I, I'm going to share a screenshot of M.P. Robertson because he is a really cool artist who lives in England. And I think you might enjoy looking at other pictures um, from books, illustrations from books that he's done. And you're, if you ask your mom and dad, they might even log on to his site. He's got some, some drawing uh, pages and, and uh, you can learn all about him. So I hope you like this book and I love you all and I hope you will enjoy tomorrow's story, which will be Babar, The Show Must Go On. That's tomorrow's book. See you tomorrow. Love you all. Bye-bye.